Like I said, it's Bryant with Game Day Gaming. I'm just coming at you with some news, and also we're going to be playing a little bit of gameplay here. But what I wanted to go over first was the title update information that was released by EA Sports. They released a title update this morning, and it addresses a few issues. So I was just going to go over that, go over what they said, and then play some gameplay. And the first thing that they touched on is that the, the first issue that was addressed was that they fixed the away team not being able to change the offensive audibles in online head-to-head. -head. So offensive audibles, you'll be able to do that now in head-to-head, -head, which is a nice change. Uh, one thing that affected me a great deal was this next bullet that they mentioned, and this was mentioned on their Twitter. Uh, CFB Direct brought us the news, and the second bullet mentions reduced frequency of roughing the kicker from AI players on field goals. So this has impacted me a ton. I got to where I wasn't even using field goal block anymore, or I would pick the guy on the far end and I would just pull him back because almost every time you lined up for a field goal block, there would be a roughing the kicker uh, from the computer, from the CPU on your team. And so this caused several issues uh, because obviously if, it, if there's a field goal or an extra point and they line up, you know, it, it tacks on the 15 yards on the kickoff or what happened to me several times around field goals. I had a great stop by my defense and inevitably there was a roughing the kicker and what happens? They get a first down, they decide to accept the penalty and it, then it puts me in a position where um, I get the touchdown. So glad that's going to be fixed. I'm going to actually try to test that a little bit here. We're going to find out. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So the third issue that was fixed was fixed a rare issue of the snap going behind the quarterback. So this also impacted me directly. There were several instances where, and I actually have a clip of it, and you can find a lot of clips of this as well online. But um, there was an issue where the quarterback would snap the ball, and it was usually on some sort of read option play. The ball would go past or above the quarterback's head, and... Um, then there would be a fumble, and it would go about 20, 25 yards. So glad that issue is fixed. And then the last thing that they mentioned here is just stability and server improvements. So something we, it's kind of vague what that actually means. Uh, of course, server stability improvements, we can we can assume what that means or just, you know, fixing the way the servers run. Uh, the stability part, a little uncertain about that. But that's essentially the update and the news, which is really great. Uh, the other good news is EA is going to be releasing a larger update here in the next couple of weeks, which is going to address some of your larger concerns. So I know there's been some issues with the commentary that people have complained about. I've heard it's possible they will be re-recording some of that. Chris Ballard came out and said that himself. I'm not sure if that will be in this update or a future one. There's also been some issues with tackling. Uh, it seems like the defense gives up a ton of tackles or a ton of big plays because of missed tackles. It should be pretty easy tackles. And some of the other big issues are sim logic. So in the dynasty mode, uh, the sim stats are, are just not great. Um, they don't look wonderful. There's a lot of issues there. And then also the the other issue is the playoffs. So the, you've had, I've seen five and seven teams that are ranked in like the top ten that have made the playoffs. I've seen other teams with lots of losses that shouldn't be in there, even with the seeding. So that is another big issue that should hopefully be addressed. And there's a lot more that they're trying to focus on. They're going to add uniform updates, player ability changes. They're talking about adjusting player attributes based on how before the season arrives, how those are going to look. So lots of little changes that are coming. And again, there's more that will be coming from this larger update. So we'll just take a wait and see approach. But sounds like there's a lot of good and exciting things that they'll be addressing. And I think that that will dramatically improve the game from its current state. I'd say it's in a really good place overall. But there's definitely some issues with it. It's not perfect. No video game is perfect. But... Um, here's hoping that the next update addresses some of the larger issues and it can enhance the experience for everybody and we'll just uh, see how it goes but just wanted to give you that update hope you 
enjoy the news and are enjoying College Football 25. And stay tuned for more information coming soon. Talk to you all guys later.